Hello everyone, welcome back on Always on Learning. I am your science teacher BB Fatima. Today we are going to discuss about migration in birds. Before we understand migration in birds, we have to understand the meaning of migration. It is a word derived from a Latin migrara, which means movement from one place to another place. Now, if we take the migration in birds, it means that a group of birds migrating, traveling from one place to another place, it's called migration in birds. Now, for what are the reasons these birds migrate? A very basic reason, a very common reason in all the birds is due to the seasonal change or due to the climatical condition. When there is change in climate, the birds migrate. And apart from that, for the sake of reproduction, when there is a shortage of food, when they have fear from their predators and also when there is a very bad condition in environment, the birds travel and mostly this is happening nowadays more, where the birds traveling due to the bad environment condition. And how these birds come to know this is a time to travel, this is a time to migrate, especially when there is a climate change, it is through the length of the days and also through the length of the days and also through the level of different temperature the level of temperature they understand the time it's time to migrate and do you think before the birds migrate do they do any kind of preparation yes 100 percent these birds prepare themselves very well before they migrate they eat a lot and they they're weight becomes actually double what it was before because they store a lot of fat in their bodies which require them during a migration because it requires a lot of energy to them and do you know uh, these types of migration is divided into four groups some birds are involved in local migration it means that they are the residence birds who travel within the area and they manage themselves very well Example, you can take pigeon, crow, dove, all this includes in this. And next comes about short distance migration. Very common example, robins, who travel from lower region to higher region. Then it comes about medium distance migratory birds, which comes about, which travel from one state to another state. It means within the country, they just migrate. And example, you can take blue jay. And next comes about longest distance migratory birds here you can take the example of very famous long distance migratory bird arctic trout these birds travel miles together thousands of miles together actually and they travel not from one state to another state from one country to another country isn't it so excited and they don't need any kind of passport and visa and do you know one more thing that whenever we talk about this migration, this migration they'll do in a very systematic way and with a plan. And in all over the world, it is celebrated as World's Migratory Days, not once, two times a day. That is by the way. Why do we celebrate? Because to create awareness among the people that these birds are not only the PhD also play a very important role in maintaining an ecological balance. So it's our duty to improve our environment and to save this world to migrate for the reason of bad environment. And also this migratory days is celebrated month of May and October every second Saturday. In the whole world these days is celebrated as world migration. 